ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته <تصفيق> بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we have the great month of Ramadan like I mentioned last week the month of Quran we need to in regards to Quran I mentioned certain points last week but today I would like to mention two things about the Quran P and P practice upon the Quran and propagate the message of the Quran very very important that we tell others how beautiful this Quran is we tell people who don't have Islam at the moment we should uh, tell them the beauty of this Quran talk to them about Islam make dua for them that Allah you know guides them towards the beauty of the Quran the beauty of Islam Allah and we can become a means of somebody coming into Islam that is the greatest thing in the world the Prophet sallallahu said to Ali radiallahu an لَأَيْ يَهْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ غَجُلًا وَاحِدًا خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ حُمُرِ النَّعَمِ أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أو علي if one person comes into Islam because of you if Allah guides one person because of you then that is better for you than red camels meaning the best thing that is out there were the red camels the most expressive ones it is better for you than the most valuable thing out there imagine a person going into Jannah because of me because of my few words because of my concern because of my worry imagine so that should be our passion that should be our intention that how can I you know spread this message tell share this message of Islam tell others about the greatness the beauty of Islam the beauty of Quran the greatness of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is what we need to do and the month of Ramadan we should uh, you know make dua for the wider community Allah guides them every every day in our iftar our suhoor we should be making dua for them Allah guides them and not only making dua but at the same time giving da'wah to them as well give them some literature about Islam talk to them about Islam you know say, share some CDs some DVDs uh, if they are if they want more information and they are interested bring them to the masjid uh, give them a English Quran and uh, imagine just the other day somebody was telling me about one person who uh, you know, he said we should uh, be very actively, you know, promoting this beautiful deen Allah has given us. We should be answering questions, any objections anybody has. He said the other day somebody was telling me that uh, they know somebody who is ready to become Muslim. So I said, okay, what is stopping them then? Do they have any questions, any objections, anything they're not sure of? So we can tackle that and then inshallah if everything, they don't have any further questions, then inshallah maybe we can... Uh, you know inshallah help them take the shahada no problem so it is very very important that we have this money and concern how many times have we made dua for our neighbors you know that oh Allah these are such good good people they are such beautiful people only if they were to have iman oh Allah bless them with iman the Prophet wrote letters wrote letters he couldn't write but he got letters written and in order for the letters to be stamped for 60 for nearly 60 years of his life, he never wore a ring. But when he was told that the um, uh, the rulers, they only accept a letter which is sealed, then with that seal, he got a ring made. Many people, they, you know, they show you that ring is sunnah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never wore a ring when he was 20 years old or 25 years old. A ring is sunnah, but for what, what reason is it sunnah? For wedding? No. What reason is it sunnah? For da'wah. So when, when, when he was writing the letters, then he got the ring made and he, <coughs> he got it stamped. He wrote over 17 letters to all the different kings, all the different rulers, subhanAllah. And uh, he got it hand delivered with certain Sahaba, anhu, he sent them. Imagine how much worry and concern he had for them. Today, how many times have we, you know, sent letters to people who are in authority, how many people have we got the message of, across, of Islam across to them? It is our duty. Allah has given us Islam. Islam, we are Muslims. We have a responsibility of propagating this message. You know, conveying this message. Passing this message on to as many people as we can. 
and uh, this is not just the duty of you know certain people it is every Muslim duty so inshallah uh, one question also came that when we hear the news of some person who has who is not in Islam if he was to die what should we say number one we should immediately turn to Allah that oh Allah how did this person die without Iman it is my mistake that I didn't get the message of Islam across to him and then what do we say? Allahu a'lamu bima kanu amilin. Allah is more aware of what the actions were. Allah is. Allah knows. Maybe sometime a person, you know, he's, he doesn't show he's a Muslim, but secretly he's a Muslim. And in the akhirah, you know, a person will find out if, you know, he was actually a Muslim. But in this world, you know, for whatever reason, or just before he became a, he passed away, he became a Muslim. So Allah knows. So whatever the actions were, Allahu alam ma kanu amilin. If we know that that person did not become a Muslim, we shouldn't, because you know, the Ibrahim alayhi salam was making dua for his father. His father was not a Muslim. Allah prohibited him from that. So we need to number one be very very concerned that uh, how can you know a person come save himself from the fire of Jahannam and come into Islam and uh, make dua. Allah make us die with Iman as well and make us a means of other people dying with Iman as well because that is the greatest thing in the world. وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Don't ever die except that you are in the state of Islam. And that is the same message Ibrahim a.s. gave to his children and same message his uh, children gave to the, their children and Allah is mentioning this in the Quran. So let us pass this message on, propagate this message, this beautiful deen, learn the deen and uh, P and P practice propagate and uh, if we have a, we have we're not already doing it let us start in this month of Ramadan if not every day at least once a week I should be talking to one person about Islam one person should be getting the message of Islam through me at least once a week if not once a week at least once a month that will be 12 people I will be talking to about Islam in one year and out of the 12 people, even if one person took, takes it to heart and he becomes serious and Allah opens his heart for Islam and he becomes a Muslim, imagine the reward. Until we meet again, Jazakumullah khaira, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.